Hi, and welcome to my channel, Laura's Library Card. So today's video is a vlog slash book review on Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. I read this book with my husband and what follows is a bunch of clips as we read the book and then I will jump in again at the end to give a wrap up. Hi, okay, so we are checking in. It is about, what do we say, 30, 32% of the way into Gideon the Ninth. We have been, I've been reading it out loud slash we got the audiobook to listen to together uh, and we're 32% of the way in. So what do you think so far? Uh, it's weird. It's weird. Yeah. Uh, there's a ton of characters. Um, Sorry, I'm not used to angling this for two people. <laughs> uh, there's a ton of characters. There's a ton of names. Mm -hmm. And the writing style is kind of weird at some points. I don't hate it. It's just weird to sort of get into that mm -hmm. mindset. Um, yeah. It's good so far, though. Uh, definitely predicting enemies to lovers right off the rip. Between uh, Harrow and Gideon? Of course. Um, I think that there's they, they hate each other way too much for that not to be how it ends. Yeah. I mean, I definitely think that there's some elements of that. Um, I agree. There's a lot going on. I don't hate the writing style. It's very descriptive. Like, there's lots of, like, interesting adjective choices. Um, there's a lot of characters. It definitely feels like we've been, like, dropped right in the middle of stuff. And I'm like, what is happening? That's been my biggest question is, like what's happening i'm not following this um so here at 30 percent like just for for my own check-in uh gideon and harrow have managed to leave the ninth house to like go to this competition but like we don't actually know what the competition is like they get there and they're like what are the rules and they're like compete so i i feel like right now there's like like, there's, like, no tension. Like, I'm not sure what's, like, happening. Um, so, I don't know. I'm just... I'm not loving this, personally. I think it's intriguing, but, like, I'm just not... It's not really my normal thing, which is fine. I don't mind reading outside of my normal thing, but also I'm kind of, like, not loving this. So, do you have anything else to say? No, we'll wait and see. Okay. We'll try, we'll try to check in again a little bit later in the book, probably closer to, like... 60, 70%. Hi. Okay. So we are tuning in again for a little update. We are at what? 65% yeah. of listening to Gideon the Ninth. It's kind of slow going. Just, I mean, it's not like uninteresting, but like we're listening at 2x and it just feels like it's like every time we think, oh, we've made a good chunk. It's like been 5%. Do you feel that way? Uh, I don't know. It's it's not that it's not interesting. It's just it there. The writing style is very wordy, and it's there's mm -hmm. a lot of weird names. And there's a lot of like uh, character development moments mm -hmm. that aren't exactly like necessarily the most exciting, but it sort of speaks to the culture that the book is. You know, the world mm -hmm. and stuff. So it's. It's interesting. I think we're finally, just in this last chapter, at the start of the end of part three now, and we're starting part four, is now going to be like the 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 very quick ramp up to the the action. I think we're finally getting to the... Like the meat like, of it? Not necessarily the meat of it, but like this is where, st you know, stuff starts to go down and... It makes an actual difference. Yeah. I feel I, I feel like I'm, like, following along in that, like, I know roughly where we are. There are also a lot of characters because there are... That's true. Because they there are, like... They all have... Yeah, they all have long names. names. They all have, like, long titles and stuff. So, like, sometimes people refer to them by their title. And sometimes people refer to them by their first name or their surname or their, or their house. And so it's, like... It's taken me a while to arrange who belongs to what house and what their full names are. And even still, occasionally, they'll mention someone and I'll be like, who is that guy again? Yeah. Um, which normally is not something I usually feel like I'm struggling with. But mm. uh, I don't want to give away too much of the plot or anything. But, like, 
I feel like shit's going down. Um, oh, for and sure. Like, it, it has a very, like, and then there were none vibe yeah. to it. Where, like, I wasn't expecting it to be, like, this much of, like, a... Th- like a thriller mystery sort of yeah i wasn't expect i was expecting it to be much more like hunger games yeah no i knew that wasn't gonna be the case necessarily why did you think you knew that i because it's not the hunger game well okay i just meant that like i don't know i think that like the blurb was kind of like they uh, they get there and then they all gotta fight for it and i just sort of assumed it was maybe not like a hunger games and that they kill them but sort of like a you know a competition where people would be like ruled out i don't know i it's interesting. It's uh, just like kind of like plodding along to I, some extent for I me. I don't know. I feel like you had sort of predisposed to not like this book from the get go. So I feel like that's still sort of holding true. Uh, yeah. Um, for me, it's just sort of like a middle of the road. It's interesting and I'm enjoying it, but also like this isn't my normal style. I don't. I feel like I'm, like, struggling to follow it in some Mm -hmm. places. And I don't know, like, necromancy is just not really my thing. I wish that, like, some of the, like, rules and structure of the book had just been laid out a little bit more up front so that I would have, like, known more what to expect. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This whole, like, futuristic, like, it obviously takes place, oh, maybe not obviously, but it feels like it takes place in the future Mm -hmm. because there's space travel but there are these cavaliers, and there's necromancy, and there's mm-hmm. magic, and it, you know, it's, it's, they're, they're trying to root their magic in science and stuff, so mm-hmm. it feels, I, I don't know, it's a very interesting, I, I really like this book. I like the, <coughs> the world, and I like the design, and I'm looking forward to finishing it. And I also am a bigger fan of thrillers, so... I like thrillers, but I want to be really thrilled. And these other elements of actual, the writing and structure, and that's preventing me from being really thrilled, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I, I Like I said, I'm not, like, hating it, but I'm not, like, got to keep reading, got to keep picking it up. But also, like, I don't want to just, like, walk away. I don't want to DNF it. Mm. So. I don't know. I'm also waiting for Gideon and Hara to get together, so. All right, well, we'll tune back in at the end. So stay tuned for final thoughts. So we've done it. We have finished Gideon the Ninth. On time and everything. Yes, before my book club. Uh, so I can potentially, hopefully everyone else has also read it. Um, yeah, you better have. It was great. I mean, what were your final thoughts? Uh, I enjoyed it. Um, I saw some stuff coming uh, I was definitely sort of right on some things and sort of right on other things. Um, I'm, I don't know. It's it's tough because I, it makes me want to read the second book now, but that's the problem is I know the third book's not out yet. Yeah. So I'm like, well, you know, then it's over. <laughs> I gotta wait. Yeah. So I don't know. It's. It's tough. The book did not end with a cliffhanger. Are we doing spoilers? I guess no, it's a little let's, late. no. Let's just not be spoilery. Uh, there's not a cliffhanger. I guess that's not real specific. You have to blurt that out. I don't think it's. A, I don't think a spoiler. I don't think it's a spoiler to say that there's that, not a cliffhanger. that there's not a cliffhanger. Yeah. Um, for me, my frustration with this book is that there, it just felt like I was constantly not actually sure of what was happening. Like there was, especially in the latter half, uh, and in the last 25%, like there was a lot of like theoretical discussions behind like necromancy as a like craft. And I was like, I don't know anything about necromancy. Like, I don't know what thanergy is or thalergy is or any of the like various like I just felt there, like that's the thing. There's a glossary at the end of the book mm-hmm. that we did not get to that I bet explains a lot. Of that. Yeah, probably. But I, I, I definitely think that you should be able to write. You should be able. A reader should be able to read a book and not have to be like flip, 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 like to a glossary eight thousand times. Uh, I okay. I disagree. I feel like you especially with the whole wheel of time nonsense like you try to read there's a glossary there too i ignore yeah, it there it's a nightmare well it gives away spoilers 
Okay, and like there's... no spoilers. I don't know. For me, I just was frustrated with like following what was happening a lot of the time. Uh, ben apparently didn't have that that yeah, problem following I, I things. Knew what was happening pretty much the whole time. <laughs> I just I just felt like there was the other thing was that like both doesn't mean I necessarily like predicted anything, mm-hmm. but I was like. I knew well, like, yeah, when, like part way through when I said, "Well, so and so is definitely the bad guy," and you were like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, definitely." Like, we both agreed that like the person who was the does turn out to be like yeah. a pretty shady person, like, well, is a shady person. Yeah. So ultimately, you know. the villain. Yeah, um, and I predicted sort of the the other one too. Did you. Did I not say it out loud? I guess not, no. See, that's the thing. It's like, I make predictions all the time, and I, like, later I'm like, I knew it. And people are like, you didn't know it. I'm sure. like, I did know it. Um, but I don't know. I, I, I didn't hate it, but I didn't really love it. I felt like I was kind of constantly a step behind in understanding what was happening. And also, like, Harrow Hark and Palomides are both characters that are, like, very, very smart. And are sort of constantly being like, I knew it. And then the other one's like, oh, indeed. And, like, Gideon is like, anyone yeah. want to fill me in? And I felt like I was, like, as the reader, I was frequently, like, in Gideon's shoes where she was like, I'm following. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I was sitting there being like, same, girl. Same. So, I don't know. I mean, I thought it was, like, interesting and it was definitely different from what I normally read. And, you know, do you have, like, a star rating or any... Uh, I mean, I'd give it solidly four stars. Mm -hmm. If Laura wasn't around because she's very strict with her ratings, I'd probably give it a four and a half. No, I'm asking you what your rating would be. Four, four, four and a half. For actual quality and structure, I would say probably closer to like a four. But for my personal enjoyment, I would say that's probably closer to like a two, two and a half. So I think I'm going to, I personally am going to land on a solid, uh, like, three stars for me. But uh, if my book club has anything interesting to add tomorrow, then I will uh, hop on here to kind of add some official final thoughts. And, yeah, otherwise, do you have anything else you want to say? No, I'm enjoying it. Uh, uh, I've enjoyed it. I'm excited to jump into the second one. By yourself. <laughs> it won't be something we do together, I don't think. Who's it? Okay, so I don't know that I really have too much more to contribute. Uh, After my book club meeting, uh, it it was a lot of the same sentiments. There were five or six of us, uh, five of us who had read the book, and uh, everyone kind of had the same general feelings and complaints. Um, The idea was that the like world was really cool, but like it just never was quite explained enough and people were just they kind of constantly one step behind and confused, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, there were some complaints that there was like too many characters. Uh, and for me, I don't know that there was too many characters, but more that they, everybody had di- like four titles and four names. And it, I didn't understand where, like what their interconnectedness was. And so yes, there was a lot of people to keep track of, but it might've helped if I had understood like how those people related to each other better. Um, And a lot of other complaints were about sort of the writing itself was very dense and filled with jargon, as I mentioned before, and that was kind of contributing to the struggle to kind of take things in and be able to fully understand and comprehend it. And so, yeah, I I do, I will say, I think that the pacing increased over the course of the whole book. And so by the end of the book, we're kind of in full tilt, uh, action packed, uh, last 25%. Uh, so that I, that's not my favorite pacing for the like entire book, but uh, it did kind of keep me reading because it was a book club book and because the pacing kind of kept increasing. Uh, and in the end, um, two things. I I felt like there was an insinuation that there was a underlying romance in this book and I just didn't really see it. I felt like that was not like on page enough for me to comprehend it. Um, I didn't feel a connection between our two main characters who were like in the romance. So, okay. Uh, And then for me personally, I'm going to be vague, but the end was not very like satisfying. I mean, I think that it's partly because it's the first book in a series and this the story continues into the second book. So I would hope that the exploration of 
how the end came about would continue to happen in the next book and um, you know we would continue to hear the voices of our two main characters so I don't know I don't think that I'm going to probably ever read the second book but I just wanted like I just I don't know I didn't super love the ending thought it was really cool but I also was like eh, like not emotionally satisfied with it so there it is I ultimately describe this book as necromancers and swordsmen in space competing for power and immortality with strong queer sexual tension throughout um so I feel like that kind of stands and like that that description kind of makes it like sound cooler than I really thought it was so uh, I think I'm going to kind of safely land on my rating final rating of 3.5 stars uh, let me know down in the comments if you read this book, if you think I totally missed something, if you think I needed to give this author another shot, or if you know, tried the second book, let me know. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!